ladies and gentlemen. Right now, the biggest surge for COVID-19 is in the South and also California. The numbers are rapidly going up. And a lot of this is, of course, since many of these states decided to reopen and not wait for COVID-19 to go down more, well, they are now feeling the pain of that decision. Many of them are. So this came out in NPR, June 11th, 2020, North Carolina. Health Secretary warns of surge in cases, possible return of stay-at-home order. Okay, I got some audio I want you to listen to. before the pandemic, but the pandemic is far from over. There are now more than 2 million cases of COVID-19 in the United States, and the virus is now spreading at higher rates in new places. Arizona, Florida, Oregon, and North Carolina's number of cases nearly doubled in the last three weeks. All four of those states are also in the process of reopening. Just last week, North Carolina recorded its largest single-day spike since the pandemic began. Mandy Cohen is North Carolina's Secretary of Health and Human Services, and she joins me now. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Rachel. Great to be with you. So things were going well in North Carolina, and now they are not. So what happened? That's right. So we took early and aggressive action, like many other states, back in March to slow the spread of the virus. And we never got a first surge or a first wave, and that was really good. We we were able to use that time to build our capacity to respond, but we, we couldn't stay locked down forever, right? And we start to reopen. We know that the virus is going to move around more. And we watch our numbers and track our trends very closely. And what we have seen, um, particularly in the last two weeks since our second phase, of reopening is that our numbers are, are really, as you said, going in the wrong direction. Um, in the last week, we've had four days of more than a thousand new cases in each one of those days. And, and, and importantly, we are seeing our hospitalizations go up. So more people having serious illness. Now, we, mm. we still have capacity in our healthcare systems. Um, and you know, but this is an early warning sign for us that we really need to take seriously and make sure that we don't forget that COVID-19 is with us. I know folks are weary uh, at this point, um, but we really need to stay vigilant, particularly in our state where we never really saw that first uh, increase. So this is uh, new for us and we need to make sure that we can respond. Well, what are the criteria for moving on with reopening? I mean, as you noted, North Carolina is in phase two and restrictions are, are set to loosen further in about two weeks. Are you worried about that? Well, we've been uh, tracking very closely four key metrics, and the governor and I report out on those metrics every week to help us make decisions, and that is why we felt like we were able to move into our first phases of reopening. We had been stable on our numbers of new cases, um, of our percent positive tests on hospitalizations, um, and and we do look at some early surveillance data. So we look at these four key trends every every single week. Um, it's on our dashboard every single day. So they, they were stable. But as, as I said, as we start to reopen, which we knew, you know, we have to reignite the economy. We can't stay locked down forever. We do see uh, these trends moving in the wrong direction. And the governor ha and, and I have said that we will use all of our tools. And if we need to go back to uh, stay at home, we will. I hope we don't have to. I think there are things we can do before we have to get there. But yes, we are concerned. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to take make sure we're taking action. President Trump told reporters yesterday that he's going to restart his massive rallies. And he specifically mentioned wanting to hold one in North Carolina. I mean, you're well aware of the debate over the GOP mm -hmm. convention there in August. And, um, you know, the RNC just voted to have a dramatically scaled down uh, set of events then. But is your state ready for mass gatherings like a, like a Trump rally? Well, the data and science tells us that mass gatherings are one of the most concerning uh, kinds of activities related to viral spread, right? When lots of people close together um, can spread this virus. And we have seen that happen here in our state where there have been gatherings that have spread the virus. So right now we are are asking our folks in North Carolina, if you've been to a mass gathering, like a protest or going back to church, 
um, we want you to get tested. Um, we think that that is exposure. We think that that's a risk, and we want folks to get tested. So I am worried um, about mass gatherings. For us in North Carolina, our rules still are that we, we do not want to have any mass gatherings. Um, obviously, um, the um, protests and going back to church have particular legal status, um, but the virus doesn't know that. So we, we think those are risks, um, and we want to make sure folks are getting tested and are uh, taking care of themselves. There are, are several states that are going through this, uh, an increase even as the country continues to reopen and increase in cases. Is there any particular state you're watching as you make calculations for North Carolina? Well, certainly we're trying to learn from the states that have come before us, um, the, particularly the states in the Northeast that have already seen their first surge and how did they respond to that. So we're appreciative of a lot of lessons learned there. But as I, I look at other states that are increasing now, obviously you mentioned them in, in your intro, um, the southern part of California, Arizona, Arkansas. Um, so, we, you know, we are looking there to see are they just a few days or maybe a week ahead of us? And what are the things that they are doing that can help tailor our, our work? So we want to make sure that we are particularly focused on getting people to wear face coverings, wait six feet apart and wash their hands. There are individual actions that people can take right now and I think they're so important. We really need to get our testing up and then we need to trace folks and folks need to stay isolated and stay home if they're sick. Dr. Mandy Cohen, North Carolina Secretary of Health and Human Services, thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. All right, y'all. So you hear that, and this is not the only state that is seeing an uptick. You know, there are many right now. And as you can see, they are now kicking around the idea of sending people back home. Now, I know Trump was saying there is not going to be any shutdown during the second wave. He's not going to have a choice, y'all. If too many people fall ill, he's not going to have a choice but to shut down again. He doesn't have no control over that. Come on, get real. So North Carolina was actually one of the states that lifted their restrictions for stay at home. And they did it as early as May 8th. And as you can see, just like many of us have suspected over the last three weeks, they have seen an increase in the cases. And now they are hitting a thousand deaths um, and they're seeing a thousand new cases per day. So they're at a thousand deaths with a thousand new cases per day in North Carolina. And as you heard, Trump, that was one of the places Trump wanted to go and rally. I say, let the man come and rally. Why would you stop him? Let him have his rally. So, ladies and gentlemen, as of today, the U.S. has officially passed 2 million COVID-19 cases are recorded and 112,000 deaths as of June 11th, 2020. So this is only going to get worse with all of the uh, protests that are going on nationwide. You know, there's protests in all 50 states. So you can best believe with crowds gathering on a regular basis out in the streets, it's spreading. That's why I'm telling y'all, there's no chance for this thing to go away. Even if you thought it was with the amount of protests going on, you got cops, the National Guard was out there, but you know a lot of them were pulled, but it was still enough time for them to get exposure. And then of course you have the protesters. So expect this thing to surge over the summer. I don't believe you're gonna see a second wave because you have not even completed the first wave. That's why I laugh every time y'all keep talking about the second wave, you haven't even gotten past the first one yet. So you're gonna have an increase enhanced first wave for the summer. So this thing ain't going nowhere y'all. 
and they have zero control over it. And they know it. They can't control this, y'all. They wish they could, but they can't. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.